Hey guys! Hey! Summer's over and it's fall now. I don't know what you're talking about. It is 90 degrees out here. And it was 100 degrees last week. It's kind of hot. But no, summer's over and it's fall now. And you know what that means? Boots and scarves. Pumpkin spice everything. No! But it's Oakland apple season. <sighs> Apple pies? Picking apples? Yes. Apple cider. Yes. The family farm. Yes. Yes, we need to do this. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're in Oakland and the first farm we're going to visit is Riley's Farm. But before we discuss Riley's Farm, let's talk about Oakland as a whole. Oakland was actually nothing until about 1867 when the very first farmer came up here and decided to plant apples in 1867 by Enoch Parrish. Enoch Parrish was one of the first apple farmers here. He actually was a potato farmer before that, but he planted the first apple trees and basically started the whole apple operation in Oak Glen. Um, his family has the Parrish Pioneer Farm in Oak Glen. Enoch Parrish, that's right. I keep forgetting his name. Um, we are at about 5,000 feet in elevation, so it does snow up here. It is actually about 10 degrees cooler than it would be in like the Redlands area. Back then in the 1800s to the early 1900s, Teamsters actually came up here on their trucks, picked all the apples and brought them down to the cities below to distribute amongst stores, uh, different restaurants, cafes, whatever they had down there. And that's how Oakland was actually started. And Riley's Farm is actually still a working farm to this day. They have apples, they have lots of activities for kids to come and experience the the different periods of the past and basically learn about how this all started. They have Hawk's Head, which is actually a really nice restaurant over here. We're going to show you in just a little bit. Archery, candle dipping, pretty much everything you can do for kids. In fact, you can hear them in the background right now. They're running all over the place and having a great time. Yeah. What else do you guys feel and smell here? I, I can hear the trees. Yes. I hear um, the colonial guy teaching the kids. I smell apple pie. I smell, smells like some sort of cornbread maybe. <laughs> Smells really good up here. So one of the things we're gonna go look at is actually Hawk's Head. Hawk's Head is just ran around the corner and let's go over there and show it to you. Hi everyone, we are here at Hawk Head's Tavern, which is actually located at Riley's Apple Farm which actually is considered to be one of the newer farms here in Oakland because it is only about 35 years old, whereas most of the other apple orchards up here are over 100 years old. It's really cool. It's totally a colonial style. Inside, they got a roaring fireplace. On Saturdays, they do live music. They also have a bakery, and you can get things like chicken pot pies, apple pies from here. They're all made from scratch. Fried sausages and apples, too. That sounds delicious, actually. We should get some. Right? Yeah. Here we are at Los Rios Rancho. It's actually Spanish for the Rivers, who are the original owners of Los Rios Rancho. And it's now owned by the Wildlife Conservancy and one of the Riley members. Um, so we are here in the apple picking area. 
I have some tips for you if you want to listen to them. What's tip one, Tina? <laughs> tip one is to bring your own reusable bags. Some of the places want to use their own baskets, but on the way home, you might as well have them in your own bags, right? And tip two, I don't remember. Tip two is when do you pick? What days are best? <laughs> tip two. Weekdays are the best days to go apple picking because it's less crowded and you don't have families tripping all over each other. And talking about families tripping all over each other, should we do closed toed shoes and dress appropriately? Oh, tip three. Always wear closed toed shoes and dress appropriately. The weather's really unpredictable up here. It can go from very cold, rainy to very warm. So bring a jacket, bring some sunscreen, bring a hat and sneakers. Another tip about Oakland it, it, and picking your apples up here is that you cannot buy these apples in a grocery store, meaning that they're not commercialized. They are antique varieties and specialty varieties, and you cannot get them anywhere else except if you come to a place like Oak Glen and pick them yourselves. What's picking season? What's our dates? It's Labor Day weekend through uh, Thanksgiving, actually. And I heard that there's other kinds of things that you pick. Yeah, you could pick strawberries, you could pick blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. The raspberries up here, I know firsthand, are amazing. Are you picking leaves? I'm saying hi to the tree. <laughs> okay. All you right. can get become one oh. with nature at Los Rios Rancho. There are tons of hiking trails that are actually all up through here. You can bring your dog out and come and explore and, and truly see how beautiful this area is. The more you know. We are at Oak Tree Village. It features one of the store's Apple Annie's, which is very well known for its pastries, its pies, and specifically, it's a five pound mile high apple pie. That's a tongue twister. So here at Oak Tree Village, there's actually 14 acres of a whole world to explore up here in Oakland. You have a petting zoo, you can pan for gold. They have a train ride, I believe, mm -hmm. and around us, a little, sheds really that um, vendors come usually Fridays and Saturdays and sell their product to the public. Their crafts, their decor, whatever they have. What, what kind of stuff do they have here Tina? Um, there's a quilt place, a lady does scarves, they have woodworking, um, I think there's a pottery. I'm, I could be making that last one. There's up. jams and jellies, oh, there's yes. a plant stand place, all sorts of fun. Yes. You can actually come here and uh, fish for trout too. They have trout ponds so you can come and fish or you can feed the fish. And uh, speaking of the five pound mile high pie, we have some tips for you for pies, right? Yeah, you can actually freeze them. I've heard that they freeze really well and then you can bust them out at Thanksgiving. And who wouldn't want a five pound mile high apple pie at Thanksgiving <laughs> after all that turkey? And make everybody say it before they can eat it. <laughs> yes, they have to say that first before they can eat it. Kind of want to say it together. Ready? <laughs> all right, let's do it. Five-pound, mile-high mile apple pie. pie. Oh, poop. yeah. We did it. We did it. <laughs> so we need a spokesperson for apple candy. So this was our, our last stop up here in Oakland, and um, there's a ton to explore and see and do up here in Oakland, and it's much cooler than down there in the city. So I hope you guys find this a little educational, informational. You guys are curious about what you can find up here in Oakland come on up and visit us. And not only that, we sell homes. So if you want to buy a home up in Oak Glen, this is true. Or this anywhere is... below, yes. <laughs> I was not done yet. <laughs> 
if you want to come and see homes, you Kaifa, Beaumont, Redlands, we are your girls. So thank you for checking out our video today. We hope you come and visit Oak Glen and talk to a lot of the one wonderful people that we met today. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, just thank you for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.